<laughs> hey, um, here to talk to you again about another product, which it was very frustrating to me, but I really need a new camera and I don't have a lot of money, as I said. It was very frustrating, but then when I got it to work, it was super awesome, especially for the price. So, I got it at Costco because, you know, Costco is cheaper. <laughs> and, um, I got it, um, the other day, and it is the Canon Vixia HF-R300 camera. Uh, you can see it there, it says Canon. Um, so it has a nice touch screen. Um, I'll turn it on so you can see it. It makes that noise when it comes on. <laughs> so it's real nice, and um, you can take a photo. There's a little button when it's on uh, video mode. You can um, press the little, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little thing that says uh, photo right there. And since it's a touch screen, if you want to take a photo, you just click on it. The thing that says photo. It's in the uh, bottom right hand corner. And the upper right hand corner has this little function button. And that's where you ch change most of the settings. You push on it. Um, there's a little window that pops up, and you can change the white balance and the exposure and all those things. Um, it does have an auto mode, but since I actually know how to use a camera and I'm kind of a filmmaker, although I admit I'm not a cinematographer, um, it is really nice to be able to have those um, functions of, you know, that it's not just like set, you can, you can actually change it out of auto mode. Okay. And so on the inside, it's hard to see because it's all black, but there's three buttons. One says video snap, and the middle one says home, and the other one is this weird little button that has a picture of a camera and a back and forth and a little play looking thing right next to it, which is very hard to see. And it really should just say playback on there because it's terribly confusing, as I said. So, moving on now, let me turn it off. Obviously it charges like a normal camera. The red button though, um, when it's fully charged, will turn off instead of turning green. When it's on, it will be green. And this is the record button. That's pretty obvious. Um, it has a little strap here so you can hold it without killing your hand. Also, it's very lightweight, which is nice, especially if you're a small person, you want to carry it around and kind of, you know, shoot on the fly. Um, it also has an automatic uh, image stabilization, which is nice, especially when you're zooming in really far. Like, I can zoom in all the way with this camera, and it still doesn't go wham the image. Unless you're going for that shaky cam look, which in that case, you can just go like that with your hand. It's not going to fix that. <laughs> But frankly, that makes me feel seasick. So, I got it at Costco, so it came with this bundle, which came with this nice little case here. And it also came with this uh, DVD of how to use it, which is okay, um, but it's more like an advertisement. I mean, it does show you how to do some things, like the white balance thing and stuff like that's a little more complex. Um, but for just basic stuff, it was totally useless. <laughs> I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to just get the freaking movies onto my computer. It was horrible. So that's what I'm going to mostly explain. So here's the little disc that it came with, and you must use the disc. You must use the disc, Luke. <laughs> my bad joke. Uh, so, this is the one for the Mac. Um, the other one, it, I think it does actually explain how to use their weird software for a PC. 
but I'm using a Mac, so I'm just gonna talk about this one. So this is also the little booklet that came with it, with it, which was pretty much unhelpful because if you look in it, if you look something up, you know you can see it's pretty thin here, and it comes in like five different languages or something. Maybe it's only three, but. <laughs> The instructions are in like three different languages and the instructions are literally like go look up this instruction on this other page in this weird PDF thing that you have to download using the CD. So totally useless. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. It's like it's insane to try to figure out how to use this camera. <laughs> okay. So that's that's that. This thing and eh, pretty useless and terribly confusing. So, moving on. This will show you how to turn the camera on, which is nice, but I think everybody pretty much knows how to turn a camera on. Let's see, what does it say? How to put the battery in. That's pretty obvious. Uh, inserting the memory card. Okay, I granted to you that's a little bit useful. Um, it says save photos or videos on the computer with the USB cable. Oh, here we go. It's, it's, it says press the little button there, but it's really not obvious. Okay, this is the tricky part though. This, it says for, press the playback button. So, yeah, but it's tiny and hard to see. As I said, I showed you, it's there, but it's like really difficult to see it on the camera. So that's confusing, first of all. The second thing is it says installed software will begin to run automatically. So obviously, you know, you install your software like normal. However, the really frustrating thing is that when you install the software, it's automatically set to go into some weird place. So you have to go and it's, it's like not obvious, you have to go up to the preferences in this program. You know, there's a the little drop down menu on a Mac that says preferences. And, okay, so you have to go up to the preferences and then set it to actually browse, you have to go to browse um, and put it into the right place as opposed to just doing this little thing where you can, you know, mostly on a Mac, you, you know, you'd be used to just dragging and dropping because there's this little menu that comes up that shows you all your scenes. So you would think you would just drag and drop them to the desktop, but no, you can't do that. So then you have to instead go up to this preferences thing and do this browse thing because if you try to do the other logical thing you think which would be to go to the upload thing and then go into some file into your computer which this little menu of files will pop up uh, on the side it won't let you go into any of them uh, so you'll be sitting there going like folder 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 folder, opening up all these different layers of folders until you get to, you can't, up, and until it gets like to be like everything grayed out and you cannot open any of these folders or put any of these movies into any folder whatsoever. So basically you have to go browse, you have to go to browse in the preferences, which is at the top um, of, the, of the little window. Uh, and then set it to wherever you want to put them. So I always want to put my things on the desktop so I can see them, um, just so that it's easy. So um, I did that, and it finally worked, <laughs> which was so nice. So I finally figured out how to use this darn thing in the proper way. And OK, that's good. So let me show you now this movie I made, because well, I actually really like it. It's good. The, qu the video quality is as good as, like, a flip. It shoots MPEG-4s, which um, is a universal format. It's not, like, totally HD quality, but it's a lot better than the other camera I had. My old camera was from, like, 2005 or something. It was horribly grainy every shot. 
um, everything like that. Oh, the other thing um, that you want to be able to do, once you get a little bit comfortable with the function menu, if you're shooting outside, you have to remember to adjust the brightness of the screen. Otherwise, you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Because obviously, like an older camera, you know, has the little eye thing you can look into, but all these new cameras don't have that. So, if you're like me, and you're used to using one that has a, you know, a little eye hole on it, and, well, you can't do that. So, you have to adjust the brightness on the screen, otherwise you're literally going to see nothing. <laughs> so, okay, I guess I'll get on with it then. <laughs> and just show you the little movie I made. Oh, there's two of them. There's three. There's three dogs. Maybe four. They're over there now. Yep, he came up. shot of them. Sign. 